Hi everyone, this is Piotr Kieszkowski from the Aquarium Television Definite Aquascape TV and this is the long-awaited English version of my report from the 11th edition of the Fair Zoobotanica organized on September 2012 in the city of Wrocław in Poland. The fair was organized in the so-called Centennial Hall, which you see right now. This is the entrance for the visitors. There are several green information boards on the right-hand side in the background. All attractions of the fair were listed there. This was very useful because visitors had the opportunity to find out right by the entrance what interesting was going on at the fair. The biggest and the most interesting part was the exhibition prepared by Fishkeepers Forums and Associations. Here is one fragment of this exhibition. This is another fragment. Before I start presentation of this exhibition, I want to show you just quickly all other aquatic attractions of the fair. Here you can see the exhibition of bottom dwelling fish, organized together by Polish Catfish Forum and by Fishkeepers Association from Wrocław. This is a small exhibition of marine shrimps, made by Mr. Paweł Szewczak. During the fair two competitions were organized. First there was Open Shrimp Championship for freshwater shrimps. These were all these small aquariums you can see right now. And second there was Nano Aquarium Aquascaping Contest. Several interesting aquascapes were arranged here. And finally, there were also some interesting aquariums displayed at the booths of aquarium companies. You will be able to see all this because, because of course, your favorite aquarium television was there. This year equipped with a very effective advertising medium, <laughs> controlled by two very nice hostesses, test pilots of sharks. Ok, so much for the introduction and now the time has come for the main part of my report. Of course, the whole thing will consist of several episodes, several parts, because it is not possible to show everything in one video. We start with the exhibition prepared by Fishkeepers Forums and Associations. This is the first alley of this exhibition. At the beginning of this alley there were aquariums with the fish from the Lake Tanganyika. Here is the first booth. Surprisingly, it's a booth of a company, not of an association or forum. The company Tanganyika Fish from the city of Yerushov, which specializes in import and breeding of Tanganyikan fish. This is the aquarium displayed at the booth. I really like the colors of this aquarium, because the structural background, all these stones, everything had similar color tone which matched very well with the color of the substrate and also with the color of fish. There is a shawl of Limnochromis oritus here. Look how well these fish match with the colors of the layout. It looks really good, very elegant, I might say. And I really regret that I didn't have the opportunity to film this aquarium in a more detailed way to try to bring out all of its highlights. But unfortunately, the time was short, so I had to carry on. The next booth belonged to the club of Lake Tanganyika lovers. Members of the club arranged two aquariums. One tank was standing directly at the booth. We can see it right now. The volume of this aquarium was 375 liters and inside there was a very active shoal of Trofeus species Kasanga. There was also the white crab Platetelfesa here, but it was hiding somewhere when I was filming. And this is the second aquarium arranged by the members of the Club of Lake Tanganyika Lovers. The volume was again 375 liters. In this aquarium there were various species of carnivorous fish. On the left side you can see a shoal of Cyprochromis. These yellow fish slightly below them are Neolamprologus leleupi. And now <laughs> by the bottom you can see a shoal of catfish Synodontis multipunctata. 
a very nice and very active fish, they were constantly swimming all around the aquarium. And here we have a shoal of young frontosas. In general, very nice aquarium, very colorful, even though the decorations were rather simple, but still this tank was really attractive. The next booth in the row belonged to the Forum of Fishkeepers from Kielce. Here we have the biggest planted aquarium of the fair, really amazing composition of at least dozen species of plants, classic planted aquarium stocked with a shoal of large, well-grown cardinal tetras. The bottom was planted with blixa, in the background there was a wall of valisneria, and this bright green clump on the right side is some hydrocotyle. The whole central part of the aquarium was planted with various stamped plants in various shades of red and green, contrasting with each other or complementing each other's color. Very nice, brightly illuminated aquarium, which reminds us that planted aquariums are not only the nature aquariums of Takashi Yamano. Ok, this was the first aquarium at the booth of the Forum of Fishkeepers from Kielce and now the second aquarium, which is actually more similar to a nature aquarium. Not so bright illumination, some stones, some driftwood, there is a lot of microsorum and various dark green mosses here. This aquarium was stocked with various rainbow fish. Here we have the red rainbow fish, Glossolepis incisius, and in the back there are dwarf rainbow fish Melanotenia precox chasing each other all the time. And this is, I think, male and female Bezemans rainbow fish Melanotenia bezemani. Very nice aquarium, totally different from the previous one. Ok, so these were aquariums arranged by fishkeepers from Kielce and now we go to another booth, to the booth of the Fishkeepers Association from Wielkopolska region. <laughs> As we can see the mood is great here. <laughs> Association displayed two aquariums. The first aquarium located at the booth is South American black water. Surface of the water is covered by pistia and the decorations inside are fragments of driftwood and also some leaves. Here we have long fin variety of the catfish Ancestras Telecopteras. In the corner of the aquarium we can see small Corridoras, Corridoras, Corridoras habrosas. And in the center there is a shoal of green neon tetras Parasherodon simulans. And now the second aquarium arranged by the members of the Fishkeepers Association from Wielkopolska. Again, there are South American fish here, but this is more like a planted aquarium than typical biotope aquarium. Two groups of driftwood interwoven with plants, now you can see it up close. In the middle of the aquarium there is a large shoal of Raminose Tetras Hemigramus rhodostomus. And this is albino variety of the catfish Ancestrus Telecopteras, which was so nice and allowed me to film its sucker mouth.
Ok, so these were aquariums arranged by fish keepers from Wielkopolska region and now we go to the last booth in this part of my report, the booth of the fish keepers association from Wrocław. There was one planted aquarium displayed at the booth, it was low tech style aquarium. There were some hillstream loaches of the genus Gastromizon. Here we have one sitting right on the front glass. There were many different plants in this aquarium, but mostly various species of Cryptocorini. And now, <laughs> behind the Cryptocorini, we can see some small Rosboras, Rosbora maculata, which fitted very well in the aquarium of such size. Except the low-tech aquarium, fish keepers from Wrocław displayed two more aquariums stocked with small puffer fish. In the left aquarium there were red-eye puffers Carino tetra odon lorteshi. The bigger puffer had a bloodworm stuck between its teeth and apparently it became totally confused and <laughs> had no idea what to do with this bloodworm. And in the second aquarium there were really tiny pufferfish Carino tetraodon travancoricus. Extremely funny fish and when you see them glancing at the camera from their hiding place you can tell right from the beginning that there is a spark of intelligence behind these bright eyes. Ok guys, so this is the end of the first part of my report from the Zoobotanica 2012 fair. Stay tuned for next parts and now thank you for your attention. This was Piotr Kieszkowski from the Aquarium Television Definite Aquascape TV.